God bless you in the name of Jesus. This is God's servant, Apostle Cedric, and I bring you an amazing prophetic word in Jesus' name. If you are an old subscriber, thank you so much for always passing by. I personally appreciate and love you so much. God bless you. And if you are a new viewer, please do your best to subscribe to my channel. And I want to be your prayer partner. I want to know what's happening in your life so I could pray for you and pray with you. Amen. This is a very important prophetic word the Lord says to me to ask you, can he trust you? Can God entrust the dimension you're praying for to you? Can God put power in your hands and be sure you remain sane? Can God put his anointing in your life and be ensured that he will not make you mad? You see, before you misunderstand me, I hope you get this fact right. God has transacted with all men, those who were, those who are. And of course, in the spiritual realm, those who will be. He has seen humble men become proud. He has seen good women become arrogant. He has seen people who were not gifted. Once a gift entered their hands, they changed and they became negatively inclined. While you're fasting and praying, understand that the only factor in your miracle equation is not just praying for a miracle, but can God trust you with that level of a miracle? David was a king. But when he wasn't the king, he was very moral. And David, I honor him so much. He's a father in the scriptures. You see, the Bible says when David perceived that he's king, he took more wives. So there was something about David that was hidden. He was trapped in poverty. He was trapped in mediocrity. Sometimes fame can reveal a frame of your life that you never imagined was there. Can God trust you? Bigger than your trust for God in the equation of your miracle is God's trust for you. I know you trust God. You worship, you praise, you pray because you trust him. But does he trust you? Has he checked your intention and found you able to withstand the pressure of greatness? Can God trust you? Think about it. Can God give you the marriage you're asking for? The kind of man you want, the kind of woman you want the kind of financial life you are asking for. Have you been able to prove God? Have you been able to prove that you are above mammon? Have you been able to delete pride from your heart? Can God entrust you with leadership, with power, with authority? You don't know what demon power can install in your life. Can God trust you? The day God finds you trustworthy, he gives you a miracle. So, his hands are not shut that he can't reach you. The miracle is not the problem to God. The problem is you. Fix yourself and God will fix you. God bless you. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for being a subscriber. God bless you. Bye-bye.